my concentration, and then the telepathic connection would go on the fifth. From what planet, nebula, or cosmic dust bunny do you speak to me, old being? Oh no, here we go again. It's me, Brian. Brian? Since when are you into telepathizing? Actually, I don't know. And if you look back... I thought I noticed something in you. You're not bad for a novice, but your signal is weak. There's a lot of static, as if someone oh, were you ringing your You get done a minute. Whatever you say, but please, do me a favor and don't move, because I'll be back for you at any moment, and we'll zoom out of here on the motorboat. Oh, and one more thing. Ooh, ooh, we get to talk then. If we're communicating by telepathy, why are you talking out loud? So you realize that? It's a level 15 telepathic technique, really. But don't worry. Forget about it. I teach you, but I don't think you'd even understand level 2. I don't think I understand... Well, yeah. Any of your levels. Do you know what an amoeba is? Hey! That's what the Trantorians used to pull me out of the ship on the slide! Alpha told me that's the name the Earthling contactors used to call the Trantorian jalopy that drives around space. The initials Yellow. come from anticellular matter e nuclear bilocator apparatus. Though I don't really get the apparatus. They have part. a car. It's more like being beamed up, but cool like and without getting flying space in car? your teeth. The bad thing oh, is you can answer. only go to places where there's tretonite. An ultra powerful material found no, no, only no, no, in no. energy stores and space belts. The trick space lies in putting car. all your body cells in a single file line. Yeah, I don't care about so any of that. I don't understand. Space, space really car. Get to the space car. And then they get put back in order, right where they were. Boggles the mind, huh? Anyway, its inventor, a shifty but intelligent little alien, based his ideas on enucleation theory. Oh my and god, this is so boring. I, I'm actually the monoglot like of which. On the Inducing scale intelligence. Is... Amazing, but true. If I'm not wigging, I think I've got the ideal escape plan for when I find Gina. God, I ah, take one Gina, more that's what I was forgetting. Nonsense. But I doubt he'll take my sudden departure the wrong way. He'll just think the telepathic network blew a fuse. I, s I thought I was here for some reason. Oh, good, you remind me of that, Brian. So, let's get back to, um, <laughs> you know, rescuing Gina and, and, and stuff. But uh, there was more I wanted to talk to... No, wait, there wasn't any more I wanted to talk to Joshua about, but there are more we can talk to Joshua about, so I guess we have to do it then. Let's just try it the worked the before. Cove. Cove again here and, and see what, see if we can actually get some info out of Joshua that's remotely mm. useful. Joshua, what's going on here? Brian, I can't telepathize at this exact moment. I'm operating on a boy. Boy? A uh, little demon is a lemur. A lemur? I knew such a smart guy could never be human. Well, it turns out the paddle slipped out of the other guy's hands, flew off and got stuck in this poor thing's teeth. It was a tragic scene, but luckily I was on hand. This kid brought me a couple of packages filled with molar repair gadgets, so here I am trying to remove the paddle. Oh, you're familiar with dentistry? Not a thing, but we geniuses take advantage of our inquiring minds. Listen. You go out in the neighborhood and play, and let us crows get down to work. Yeah, I'll just leave you to that. He needs to be banned from scene. entering any wildlife preserves. Okay, so maybe I needed to talk to him about the other stuff before asking him about the amoeba. So, let's plow a power glove away to another place. But first, cola time. Hey, what, what did the, the beach? I, I had a choice about the beach before. 
stupid thing. Let's go to Manhattan. It's been so long since I saw my parents, but I think I can hold out a while longer. Okay. I want to see how uh, if I can get to the beach. Let's try Mala Island again. No, I don't feel... I'd better wait a while. Uh. Planet Transfer. That's gotta be fun. I'm not sure whether it exists, but it won't hurt to try. Huh. It doesn't work. Yeah. We need to have seen the place before we can go to, the, to it. Let's see. Campsite Vagina. Yeah. Here we go. That probably doesn't work either. Nope. No way. I can't think of any place worthwhile. Okay, so maybe we have to go out and pound some information out of Okana about where Gina is. It leads no, 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 no. Go through the door. There we go. Thank you. Through here. Talk to O'Connor again. It's your O'Connor. Gotta go, man. Duty is calling. <laughs> Duty. Call me later on Channel 5. At your orders, Professor. Sir! Are you sure you didn't tell your friend on the walkie-talkie who I am? It was my duty as a fellow soldier, sir. He also sent in the intelligence service application form. But since he can't even read, they won't audition him. What? What kind of people are in the army these days? No wonder people are so against it. Jeez. Let's see. The most surprising thing is that you've read anything at all. Professor, yes, sir. Sometimes it makes me dizzy. But the more I read, the less dumb I feel. I guess that's true. Sure, let's inquire about his book taste and get his shoe shy size while we're at it. What types of books do you we? usually like? I force myself to read the complete works of the Cyrez Corporation, sir. Military Weaponry Catalog 1999, Military Weaponry Catalog 2001, Military Weaponry Catalog 2003, and the most amazing of all, Military Weaponry Catalog 2005. I didn't read them in order, Those aren't but books. I still feel I got a good grasp of the literature. Have you read anything that's not about weapons? Of course, sir. Do those <laughs> fine Wally books count? Not much. What about coloring books? Even less. Oh my, my god. Why shoot, sir? If you're gonna be that particular, you're gonna make me look like some kind of moron. He's so simple. It's amazing. How do you do you tie your own shoes in the morning? Did do you dress yourself? Jesus. Why do you want to be a member of the intelligence service? I said so in the application form, sir. I'm the ideal candidate for espionaging tasks, because nobody would ever suspect I have anything to do with intelligence. <laughs> That's true. That was a nice one. Uh. Yes, Professor. Yes, Professor. <laughs> okay, so that did work, and let's see. Do we have the means of calling someone, or? Okay, so let's try the ball one more time. No. Every time I, I stay go in, in there, the goddamn I window. It's Amazing. I thought I just ha had it with the win window and uh, whatever. You, you you don't care. Let's move on. Card on. Blubbery cube. There we go. I w I'm wondering right now how for how long does this card stay active? But because I could really like see myself using that for something devious in the future. <laughs>